Hello everybody, this is Miss Frog, and I'm bringing you another tutorial. This one is on Tinker's Construct. To start out, you spawn with this book here. Materials and you. In here you'll find everything that I'll be teaching you in this tutorial, but this is like more of a hands-on guide, like that way. Oh, I'm confused about what I do here. You can check back to this video and see what to do. First thing you need to make is for almost everything in here is a blank pattern. Craft that by two sticks and two planks. Now say you lose your book, like I don't know, I, I died and it's lost in the lava. And you go Well, I need the book because I don't know much or anything. You can just craft it with a blank pattern and a piece of paper to get your book back. Next thing to craft, or else, like, all this is practically useless, is a stencil table. You craft that by a blank and a blank pattern. And here's your stencil table. Next, you're going to need a pattern chest and a part builder. You craft the part builder by a log and a blank pattern. You craft the pattern chest by a chest and a blank pattern. And then, you need something to assemble everything, which is a tool station. You craft that by... Whoops a crafting table and a blank pattern. After you craft one of these four, you'll get this book. The second book in the materials in you. Or you can craft it by just putting your original book in and you'll get this book. Alright everybody, it's time to do some smeltery stuff. First thing you're going to craft is grout. You craft that by two gravel, not two gravel, one gravel, one clay, one th one sand, and you get a piece, two pieces of grout. Also, if you want to get this mighty smelting book, say because you lost your auto-updated one, craft it by putting the red one in the crafting bench. Next, you're going to need this seared brick. You get that by smelting down a piece of grout. With seared brick, you make seared bricks. Which is just four seared brick. Now, the main part of your smeltery is the smeltery controller. You craft that by eight seared brick around the crafting bench. Yeah. Then, you need your smeltery drain. You craft that by six seared brick. Then, you need your seared tank. You get that by crafting eight seared brick with a piece of glass in the middle. And last but not least for your smeltery, you need a casting table, which is seven seared brick there. Something optional to use is a casting basin because it can make like blocks of stuff, so something good. Two more that are 100% optional no are needed to make anything is seared windows and seared glass. You craft a seared window by six seared brick and three glass. And seared glass is just five glass with four seared. All right, to set up a smeltery now. Get, you want to get a little 3x3 three three area, you can build this up off the ground or in the ground. I just prefer to put my first layer in the ground. Now, you don't have to build this exactly like me, but but you can if you feel like it. So, first thing you do is you lay down your little 3x3 three three of seared bricks. Then, you this next layer can be like anything. So, if I just put all regular seared brick around like this, that will be fine. Then on the next layer, 
actually let's put it as on this layer up you need anywhere in there one smeltery controller as many drains as you like as many sear tanks as you like as many faucets as you would like i forgot about that over here but i'll show you guys that later as many faucets that go along with your drains as you would like and any windows and stuff you would like on this layer, I'm just going to put my smelter controller right in front. Then, I'm going to put in some seared windows to see what's going on. What do I want seared glass? Let's see what it looks like. I'm liking seared glass. Then, I want in two seared tanks. I'll put those out there. Let's put those here. Uh, uh. Now my smeltery drains. I'll put that one there and that one there. Now the rest, I'll just fill in with seared brick. Now you can build these up as high as you like, but there's a glitch, I believe. I don't know if this glitch is true. My friend just said there's a glitch that. I only see a glass can't go there. I can see a window for some reason. That controller should be lighting up. Hold on guys, let me figure this out. Alright, there we go. For some reason it just wasn't working properly, so what I did is I cut it down to this layer first. Then I'm gonna build on my second layer. Because the more layers you have on here, the more your smeltery you can hold. If I do this, see, I just built that up three layers and a ton more smeltery slots. Now, and that is how you build a smeltery. Alright everybody, now we're doing some miscellaneous items to Tinker's Construct. First one we're doing is the igniter. Which, if you were to apply a redstone signal to, it will create fire. Take off the redstone signal and you lose fire. And the fire will be sucked away. So, say it to get obsidian. Where well, this stuff works? No, well, that's what I thought. No, kind of. so let's really quick put ourselves in another portal. Cool thing is, you can turn the portal on and off. And you can't. Well, in whatever mod, there's another mod that added its own igniter, and you can turn now the portals on and off with it. But I can't because I'm in creative mode. As long as it's on, it'll always be supplying fire, so. On, it's always supplying fire. Apparently the fire doesn't hurt you. Cool. I don't know why you'll use this if you can't toggle on another portal, but whatever. Okay. Alright, next is the draw. Whoops, I forgot to show you the recipe. Alright, to create an uh, igniter, you need this netherrack large plate, which I'll show you how to make later. Which, well, I'll let you figure that out yourself. Two aluminum brass ingots that you'll find in books. Two bras, you'll figure out how to make that. A flint and steel, a piece of redstone, and you get an igniter. The next is the drawbridge. So this is a gap that I just can't cross. 
and it's too long to run around. Look. Good thing I have my handy drawbridge. When it has a redstone signal applied, it will put out blocks up to 15 blocks away. Or 14. Or however many it feels like. Oh, it always keeps one extra in there to show you. To show what block it is. I believe that's what happened. So I have 16 in it, so I also push it out. There. There should be one piece of stone left. Good. It'll push out up to 15 blocks away, I believe. Let's see what happens if I try to add in one more here in a second. Don't break the drawbridge. Just grab a stack of stone. We'll have him say I'll put in 70. Look it on. He only have left in here. Yeah, it'll, it'll only push out up to a certain blocks away. I think I just found like an infinite big glitch. Let's see what this infinite big glitch is on. Uh, nope, not even a duplication. Oh well, I've had my fun. Now to create a drawbridge, you need Excuse me? Okay. You need four bronze. Do aluminum brass, a blank cast, a dispenser, and a piece of redstone. Next are these drying racks. I have no clue what they're for. Maybe if you take leather? That's what I would assume. You can hang it. Yep, that's what I thought. So say I was to come right here. Oh. So, for some reason, I can't build off of it. Huh. Apparently, you can build off while it's on the ground. Now, what would happen to dried leather? Leather. So, I'm gonna put some leather up here. I wonder if you can actually put up the armor. The leather boots. Yeah, you can. That's neat. I don't know why your armor would ever be dried. But. Really, that's neat. Let's just hang up some leather in my armor. And let that dry. Or who knows why. Alright, then. To create the drying rack. <coughs> uh, need three slabs. Oak slabs, I believe. It has to be. And your drying rack. Next is your crafting station. Just a crafting table for different look. You craft that by one crafting table. Next is this punji stick. No clue what it's used for, other than probably decoration. And to craft that, I believe you get more than one. So say us to type in punji. When do you get per recipe? Yeah, you get five per recipe. So you stick just five sugar cane. Like that, and you'll get five of these, not one. The drying rack. When do you get the drying rack? One. Okay, so. There you go, everybody. This is the vlog tutorial on Tinker's Construct. 
I'll eventually come back to you later with a two part. One quick before I wrap one quick thing before I wrap this up is Tool Forges. There's many different the ones in red are the, are the ones crafted out of vanilla blocks. And the ones in the glowstone, fancy glowstone, it doesn't glow though. Oh fancy gold. I thought that was fancy glowstone. I want that to be fancy glowstone. No, they don't have fancy glowstone. What the crap is this? thing has no recipe yet, but Jesus bright. What happens if I'm to buy a single two? Oh it has a face. Well, I don't, I'm confused. Lightstone, crystal? Oh, I don't care about that. In the craft of Tool Forge, I'm using stone as placeholders for the metal. These are all made out of the metal. It's the part builder, but you can do more with it. Like craft, craft like rapiers, long swords, this matic, the sign, the frying pan, the bow. Well, craft that. It's four metal block, your tool station, and then your three seared bricks on top. <laughs> All right, everybody. This is gonna truly wrap up my tinkers construct. Tutorial part one. I'll be back to you with a part building episode later. But for now, this is Mystical Frog saying see you later. Goodbye.